spend the next two days and nights living in an actual sailboat as we learn how to sail going to ASA 101. We are the McKays. We plan on traveling to a hundred islands with our niece, but... But we don't have a boat yet. This is it. We have spent the last couple of days having fun with family in Arizona. Lindy, yeah, keep practicing. <laughs> Lindy, if you're if you're your feet are pointing your way, hold on. Okay, go hold on. <laughs> you hit a ball. <laughs> Look at that. You went in. You got three points. And now we are going to our sailing school in Houston, Texas. We're going to learn how to sail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing knots with my earphones. One of the employees at the school showed us how to get to the marina. I'll take you over to the uh, wall as well. Oh, I'll show you how to get there. Oh, this is warm. Oh, this is cold. Well, then it's in a certain way. We thought we could get um, bedding from them for cheap, but it turns out that uh, because they've moved, they don't have it available, so we're going to Walmart to get our bedding. Is that? Just 32 bucks. Perfect. Alright, so we just got back from Walmart with our bedding and groceries. And now we gotta get our bed ready to sleep. Alright, good enough. Now we are all set, and after a long day of travel, we are ready for our first night ever. My first night ever on a sailboat. Welcome to the Beneteau 393. Salon. The, the salon. And I actually really love how most boats have this faux white leather. I, look, I think that with the wood makes it look so classy. And you have these places to store things. And then over here, you have a desk with all of the controllers. And you can even have, store all of your flares and everything that you need in there. And 
Of course, no space is wasted, so there's even storage under the seat. And then over here, you have a lot more storage and a, a place to put all of your maps or whatever. And every place is being used. And even the drawers, you have to push in and pull out so that they don't come out when it's rough weather. All right, this is the galley. It has a sink that is actually pretty big and it has two uh, sink basins and then it has a propane stove right here that we are not using because I don't trust herself. But then it has a lot of storage. You have to actually push in to have it open up. And um, then this, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is where you keep all of your pots and pans. Here you go. And then over here, this is the fridge. And you have to pull on that, and then you have a lovely place to put all of your stuff. And then here is the freezer. And you just lift this up, and your freezer just goes right there. And there is a microwave. I don't know if it works. We haven't used it yet. But um, yeah, it's like everything that you would need in a kitchen. This is the master bedroom. It actually is pretty roomy once you're laying down because it doesn't really matter about this once you're laying down. And each bed has its own light. So yeah, that's the master bedroom. And it has its own toilet. Show them how to flush the toilet. Okay, so you have to pull it over here, right? And then go like this. <laughs> and then put it back or something like that. I'm not very versed. I have to read it each time. But yeah, then you can put your toilet piece or whatever in the medicine cabinet. And then this is the second bird. We're not using this one, but this one even has its own ensuite. That toilet and everything else. And then here's some storage for this berth. Well, just trust me. Anyway, you can sort of fit two people on here. It's kind of like a double. It's like in between a twin and a double, I guess, but two skinny people could fit in here. And yeah, there's like all of these beautiful skylights that make everything feel nice and bright and a lot more roomy than if this was just all dark. But if you want to, you can make it dark, but we like it a little bit. Trying to take my wedding ring off because we're about to go sailing and I don't want my finger getting cut off. And I haven't taken it off in ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's coming off. <sighs> cut it off. It's funny when you don't know much about sailing, but you just have childhood memories of both your mom and your dad having to get their wedding rings cut off their fingers and it being quite a big emergency, and then almost losing their fingers because of it. So we got rubber wedding rings. But even though we're from Canada, um, we were expecting it to be a lot warmer here in Texas, but it is freezing. And so I didn't really bring the right kind of gear. So we're just gonna go with layers, lots and lots of layers. This is how we're gonna survive the day. pick us up because we're too far away from the offices before they moved they were just right at the offices were right at the marina but now too far away hello my name is Craig Beimgraben I'm here at South Coast Sailing Adventures and today we are going to be going through our ASA 101 basic keel boat Tell us about our teacher. Why, why is he the best guy here to learn from? <laughs> he has actually been rated in the top 50 of over 3,000 instructors. And not only is he in the top 50, he was rated number one last year. Nice. We are here, we, we just got here and we're gonna do half a day in the classroom and then half a day on the boat. Craig was the best teacher ever. He started off with very we basic stuff. The front part of the boat. The bow. The bow? The bow. 
What's one way to remember that the front is the bow? Well, when you bow, you're leaning forward. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Then Craig moved on to more advanced things. No. Yeah, what about now? <laughs> Which was okay because we had already read an entire book in preparation for the class. So let's show the incorrect way to jive. Watch what happens to the boat. You see how that causes the boat to rock back and forth? Yeah. So now that we're done with our morning classes, we are headed to lunch. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Overalls, because I was worried that it was still going to be too cold, even though I I layered up. So did I look classy? So for the next few days, we're going to have our one-on-one -on -one course with Danielle. What do you want to become a sailor? Hi there. Um, let's see. I I mean, I've just. I enjoyed sailing kind of as a, a concept for a long time. My granddad was a sailor. My dad goes out here in Galveston all the time. And I have some free time right now. I just graduated from, from my MBA program. And yeah, it seemed like the perfect chance to learn how to sail. Woohoo! Craig taught us all about the engine okay. and the Coming ship's right emergency here, supplies. So, so you have to have three. Three. And then we got ready to head out of the dock. All right, so we've left the dock and now we are motoring through until we can get to a place where we can sail. See how the boat's turning? Now watch this. You see how the, the sail it moves to the other side? Well, but we're gonna put it up, put out the jib, and you're gonna see how much faster and how much more control you have with that jib. And with the jib, everyone's gonna have a roll on here. Alright? Sound like a plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, excellent. So go ahead and pull it. Keep going. This side over here, you notice how the jib sheet on the windward side is, is loose. See how see how slack this is right here? That's called the lazy jib sheet. Okay, so working jib sheet and the lazy jib sheet. Okay. Prepare to tack. Ready? Ready. Tack. Good it, right? There you go. Good job. Right I'm really glad that it was such a calm day and so then it made things a lot easier. Oh yeah. And yeah. now we're headed down to the marina. We're done. Did you think you would learn this much on in one day so far? <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. Excellent. Okay, right. so demonstrate the uh, the cleat hitch. Okay, so I put it around here and the biggest bend. And then like a figure eight, and then I do that, and I know it's right because it has two in it. Woohoo! Good job! <laughs> I think one of the craziest things that I've learned that in this course so far is that when you're sailing towards the wind, it's safer, easier, and funner. Than when you're sailing away from it, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I was surprised that it's more fun to tack than than jive. Sorry. Because yeah. jive just sounds cool for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see everyone tomorrow morning. So. so after a long day of classes and sailing, we are going to go out and see what this town has to offer. Party time. The only thing that makes me nervous about walking in the dark is a sign over there that said, keep your distance from alligators. <laughs> <laughs> and we found this amazing 
restaurant that's called the Aquarium. You can tell, but there's glitter on there. Is there glitter on mine too? Yeah, there's definitely glitter on mine. You can see the rainbows on the strawberry. It's smart not to use the toilet all the time and so they have their own marina toilets and they have showers and even a place to do the laundry. The next morning Craig quickly taught us some concepts before we headed out to the ocean. Now we're going to go through and we're going to break this apart piece by piece. Why do we do certain things and why we don't? day out at sea and today we're gonna learn how to save a man that's fallen overboard and we're gonna learn how to heave ho so we can have lunch. So this is our man overboard. We've named it affectionately Zoe after our dog and hopefully we can save our dog a few times today. Everyone ready? Yep. Man Go overboard! Greg, you watch it? I'll be the spotter! Do not throw over the Yeti. <laughs> look at that. See that speed right there? That's perfect. The victim could, look at that. That is the perfect speed. Look, you don't want to be whipping her wrong. That was ex excellent. Good job, crew. So, this, this, next, this, next, this next drill we're going to work on is called heaving two. Heaving two is a great thing to do if you want to just hang out. What, what's uh, Danielle? What's an example when you may just want to hang out and chill? Having lunch. Having lunch, <laughs> right? Keep the strength in, push it, and hold it. Just hold it. Re resist the urge to steer. A lot of people try to steer back and forth. Try to just hold it. The boat will eventually balance itself out. So just, just uh, hold it, hold it, and, and uh, resist the urge to steer. So another thing we're learning on day two is how to reef the sails, which may, means to make the mainsail smaller so that you can go out in heavy winds and not be um, out of control because of the huge wind. Go ahead and let's tighten up that halyard as tight as we can, this black line. Just grab it and pull it as tight as you can. One of the great things about the ASA program is that they start you off with a really small boat in the first class. So this is a small keel boat and it has a tiller instead of a wheel and it's just everything everything that you learn here can be applied to a bigger boat but this is so much more manageable and so you really understand the basics before moving on i feel like it's it kind of just graduates you slowly hopefully by the end of this time we'll be able to do a catamaran but right now i feel pretty confident on this tiny keel boat And uh, go ahead and pull on the front to, to see if there's any way that the boat can do it. Take into account how the boat may shift up and down in the tide. We headed back to the classroom where Craig went over some last minute things before we took the written test. We passed and it was actually an amazing experience and I was just anybody that wants to go to Texas or wants to learn how to sail to come to South Coast Sailing Adventures.